G'day guys, when it comes to four wheel drive touring, suspension is just one of those things that you want to get right. It is not cheap, but it will transform the ride and handling of a fully laden touring vehicle. Now, as you know, I'm running the Ford Ranger here and it's a brand new vehicle for me. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it a capable four wheel drive and I wanted to just push its limits over standard. And I wanted to also fit 33 inch rubber to this vehicle. So putting those bigger wheels and tires on my vehicle meant that I really had to find some suspension that would give it enough lift. Now there's a lot of suspension out there that will give you sort of a 25 mil lift, 22 mil lift or thereabouts. But I chose the Outback Armour because it gives me closer to a 40 to 50 millimetre lift and that allows me to fit these 285 7017 BFG KM3s under the guards and they simply don't rub. So firstly, you get that lift and then that allows you to put the right size rubber on. And then I've got adequate ground clearance to go off road. Now, lifting an independent vehicle is fraught with issues because if you lift them too far, you can have some issues with CV joints and that sort of thing and certainly clearances. Um, but Outback Armour have been doing this for quite a while and they really seem to have it sorted. Now, I've been using this vehicle for the last few months driving some pretty serious tracks and I've been very happy with it. Incidentally, this isn't actually the first Outback Armour suspension kit that I've driven on. Both of my sons drive with Outback Armour on their dual cab utes and that's when I found out that this suspension really is worth its weight in gold. It is extremely well engineered, all engineered in Australia incidentally. The shock absorbers are adjustable as well via this little stainless steel dial and they are adjustable to 20 different settings. So you can make them either nice and firm or nice and soft. Now I'd recommend that if you are doing some really heavy off-roading and you really want that suspension to be controllable, that you actually firm that up. It's really about the shock absorber controlling the spring and then you'll get a much better ride off-road. Whereas if you're going to do a heap of highway work and you just want some really nice supple suspension, you can dial it all the way down and have a much softer, more compliant ride. So that's the sort of adjustability that you get, but I've got to say that it really does work beautifully um, and it does transform the ride and the handling of your vehicle just at the flick of that dial. It makes a massive difference. So often when we're four-wheel driving, we will be towing, we will be carrying heavy loads, and then the next week you're going from no load when you're commuting back to work. So, you, so that adjustability really does come in quite handy. Now Outback Armour are an Aussie company and they're based up in Brisbane and they do all of their design and engineering in-house. But they actually cut their teeth making suspension for armoured vehicles. So they are very used to people adding a whole lot of weight to their vehicles and then still wanting them to handle at the other end. So it's kind of similar to what we do with four-wheel drives where we'll throw on rear bars, front bars, roof racks, rooftop tents, all that sort of stuff and then expect our vehicle to handle as it did or even better than out of factory. And that is the challenge that Outback Armour has set itself. And in my eyes, they've done a brilliant job. So for the first few months that I've been running this suspension, I've got to say I am absolutely thrilled. Uh, this suspension does come with a three year warranty. So you can be pretty happy that they will cover it no matter where you want to go around Australia. Um, but I tell you, this is robust as far as I'm seeing right now and it has absolutely transformed the ride and the handling of my Ranger.